Welcome to eGroupware. In this tutorial, we are going to install eGroupware on an Ubuntu 16.04 server in ProfitBricks cloud hosting environment. If you like to set up the instance at ProfitBricks data center, please watch our recording video. All instructions regarding the eGroupware installation itself would still be valid outside of a ProfitBricks environment as long as using an Ubuntu 16.04 server. Simply go to our website www.egroupware.org and open the download page. Then click on eGroupware Enterprise Line EPL button and select Ubuntu from the content. Here we see all necessary steps in order to get the correct EPL packages on our server. As instructed on this page, please go to the path slash etc slash apt slash sources dot list dot d, then create a source list file. Copy the EPL package URL and paste it into that file. Notice that you need to enter your EPL software repository credentials, which you have received with our order confirmation email. Import the download PGP keys with the following command. Replace user and password with your EPL software repository credentials. Now we have the package listed in sources list. We just need to update the list and install the eGrouper package. Simply run app-get update, then run app-get install ecoper-epl. Here we configure the ecoper header admin user. This user can change global configuration settings in setup section. The next user is the admin user. Now we set the desired language and continue. Here in this step we set the database user. Ecoper uses this user to make connection to our database. When the installation process is over, we can check installation logs where eGroupware keeps information regarding installation plus setup and login credentials. To do so, check the content of the file eGroupware EPL install.log. As you can see, the setup username and eGroupware username, including their passwords, are stored here. This log also tells us that the installed eGroupware is available under configured domain name. You may remove this log file if you prefer not to leave it on your server. eGroupware installation is almost over and we may log in to our installed eGroupware. However, before proceeding, logging into eGroupware, let's go and take care of the last and important part, some PHP adjustments which will help us to get the best performance. To do so, please open PHP INI file on the web server. In our case, this file would be under path etc php 7 apache 2 php.ini. Then search for date time zone variable and change it to your local time zone. After we save all our changes, in order to apply them, we need to restart our web server.
Now let's log in into eGroupware with the admin user that we created during the eGroupware installation. In this occasion, Sysop is our username. As you see, there are two users already created, Sysop and Anonymous. We can check if our PHP adjustments have been applied correctly by clicking on PHP information from the admin sidebar. To be able to use your eGroupware EPL features, you need to fetch your license. Notice that without fetching your license, the instance will be valid only for 30 days. To do so, click on Applications icon in Admin Sidebar, then click on EPL Features, then select License Key. Here you can simply log in with your My eGroupware credentials, which you have received with our order confirmation email. In case anything went wrong, as an EPL customer you can of course call our support or open a ticket. If you want to have a look yourself, here's where our support team would start searching for any kind of problems with your installation. Please go to the Setup main menu. Log in with your Setup username and password. If everything is ok, the Setup main menu should show green check marks behind every step. In case there are any kind of problems, please click on Check Installation on the left side. All checks should be green. A warning for missing Postgres support is OK, as we are using MySQL. The next interesting points in the Setup main menu are Step 2 – Edit Current Configuration and Step 4 – Manage Applications. An eGroupware installation should always be secured by HTTPS, which is in our days quite easy to achieve using Let's Encrypt. Congratulations! You've managed to set up eGroupware on Ubuntu 16.04 server. Always feel free to contact us in case you have any kind of problems. Your eGroupware team.